Let's learn Viper. In this video, I'm going to explain what Viper is and how it's different from Solidity. I'll show you how to install Viper onto your computer and then we'll compile a simple hello world example. Viper is a smart contract language that looks like Python and it aims to be simple and secure. Well, unlike Solidity, it has no overflow, it has no unbounded arrays, no infinite loops, no function modifiers, no inheritance, and no assembly. Some real-world projects that are using Viper are Uniswap version 1 and Curb.5. Both of these projects are decentralized exchanges. For this video, we'll be following the instruction of installing Viper using CreateVirtualM. The reason why we're doing this is because when we do pip install Viper, it installs a single version of Viper onto your computer. But by installing virtualenv, we'll be able to install different versions of Viper per project. So for example, in one project, you can have Viper version 0.1, and in another, use Viper version 0.2. So we'll first install virtualenv by typing python3-m pip install dash dash user virtual emb. Once virtual emb is installed, next type in virtual emb dash p python 3 bm. And this would create a folder called bm inside the current directory where the Python packages will be installed. So in this case, we created a folder called bm under Viper by example. And we can check that out by typing ls-lah. And you can see here the folder called bm. We'll activate the virtual m by typing source bm bin activate. And then we'll finally install Viper by typing pip install Viper. So that installed Viper into this folder, Viper by example. And we can check that Viper was installed by typing Viper. All right, so that's how you install Viper onto your computer. Let's now write a simple contract and then compile it. Inside my code editor, I created a file called hello world.by. BY is the file extension that you'll have to use when you want to create a Viper contract. We'll create our first Viper smart contract by specifying which version of Viper that this contract is meant for by typing hashtag followed by space at version and we'll say that this is meant for version 0.2 by typing in caret 0.2. 2.0. This contract is meant for Viper version that is 0.2. So if you try to compile this contract with Viper 0.1 or Viper 0.3, this will fail. And for any compiler in the range of 0.2 and less than 0.3, this contract will compile. We'll declare a variable to be stored on the blockchain called greet and it's going to be public and the data type will be string of length at max 100. Now don't worry if you don't understand what is going on here. We'll be dissecting and covering each of the concepts in the future videos. But just to give you an idea of what is going on here, I am declaring a variable to be stored on the blockchain. The name of the variable is greet and the type of variable is string. And the maximum size this string can be is 100. All right, the next thing that we'll do is we'll initialize this greet variable to the message hello world when this contract is deployed. And we can do that by defining a init function. So first we'll say at external and then define the init function by saying def init two underscores parentheses colon and we'll set the greet variable to hello world by typing self dot greet equals hello 
world. And that completes our first Hello World smart contract in Viper. Again, don't worry if you don't fully understand what this code is doing. I'll explain them in a future video. All right, so let's now compile this contract. So I'm gonna open my terminal and then type Viper followed by the path of the Hello World contract, which is under source hello world.by. It compiled without any errors and you can see here that it returned the bytecode. Now, if you make a mistake in your contract, for example, let's say that I put a semicolon here and then I try to compile it, you can see here that I'll get an error. The last thing that I'm going to show you in this video is how to use Remix with Viper. The first thing that you'll need to do is activate the Viper plugin. So click on this plugin icon and then search for Viper, then hit activate. Once Viper is activated, you'll see a B icon over here on the left. So I'm going to click this and you can see the Viper compiler. Let's copy the code inside my code editor and then paste it into Remix. So back inside Remix, I'll create a file called hello world.by, paste the code, and then click on the B icon, and then hit remote compiler, and hit compile. Now notice that Viper failed to compile, but it doesn't give any errors. So this is why I showed you how to compile Viper using a terminal, because it shows the error messages. And we can see here that we have a unneeded semicolon in our code. So back in Remix, I'm going to remove the semicolon and then hit compile again. And you can see here on the left that Viper compiled. All right, let's now deploy this contract using Remix. So I'm going to click on this icon and then click deploy. I'm going to scroll down and then click on this arrow to expand and then click on this greet button. And you can see here that it returned the message, hello world. All right, so that was an example of how to install Viper, write Viper code, compile it, and then deploy it on Remix. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.